Today I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a drip campaign. Now this is going to be done in an email software program such as MailChimp, Constant Contact, or any software that allows you to upload images. Alright, so you've opened up your template inside of Canva and you've updated all four of them. One, two, three, four with your information. So your photo, your name, all of that good stuff. It's all ready to go. All of the Canva templates have been updated with your information. So then you're going to go to the share button. You're going to go to download and you are going to download all pages. Excuse me. So all pages should they say that there and you're going to download it as a PNG just as it, as it has set and you're going to start downloading every single one. We're going to do this four times. All right, so now we have all four of them downloaded and now we have to unzip them because it's going to download them as zips here. All right, so now in our downloads, you can see we have our folders in here. All right, so we're gonna just put that aside for now. All right, now that your templates are downloaded out of Canva, we're gonna head over to our email software. So Elevated Agent, we use Constant Contact. So this is what your dashboard's going to look at like as soon as you log in. Now, before we go and set up the emails, the first step you actually have to take is you need to set up a list to add these people to once they opt into your email. So we're going to head over, we're gonna click Contact, up here at the top and this is what it looks like and now we're going to come over here and we're going to click the lists option right here and now we're going to come up here and we're going to hit create list now where you can name this list improve credit drip Now there's nobody in here just yet, but that's okay because we haven't started to gather those emails yet. So now that we have our list made and ready to go, we can actually head back to our dashboard. So we're gonna click on this little button here. And so now we're back to the dashboard that you see when you log in. So now we're ready to start setting up our emails. So we're going to come up to this top bar and we are going to go to campaigns. All right, so now that you're in the campaign dashboard, we're going to come back over here and hit create and this little box is gonna pop up. Now we're going to actually click on email automation. Now we're going to come all the way down to where it says when someone joins a list, this is the one you want to select. Name this series. We're going to go with True um, Credit Drip. Okay. And now we're going to select the list that we created to go with this email series. There it is. Now we're gonna hit save. So now we actually have the campaign created. Now we need the emails inside of the campaign to be established and in what order. So this is going to be our first email right here. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, we are going to create a new email, I apologize. Let's see, layouts, excuse me. If you hit layouts, we are just going to do kind of more of this card style. Um, actually, let's just click the blank one. All right, so now that we have this open, this is where you're gonna be able to put your logo and your header. 
So if you don't put your logo in the header when, when you are editing inside of Canva, you're probably going to want to put your logo up here at the top just for safety with your state regulators. So what I like to do is I like to just start dropping photo placers right in here because all we're going to do is actually that's probably enough. We're just going to fill these out. So if let's see, we just hit replace and now we're going to need to start uploading our images that we downloaded from Canva. So you go to upload. This is where you're going to be able to just start dragging and dropping all of these folders. Just going to do one at a time. I love that they allow you to drag and drop. That makes it so much easier. All right, now we have all of our folders in here. Um, you just go here, click upload 24 files. All right, so now you do have to watch which ones you're clicking because they are a little bit harder to see. Um, so we're just going to start by um, looking at the names and start selecting. We're going to insert and then you're going to click on it and you're going to see these little arrows here and you're just going to drag it as far out as um, your um, email will let you or you can do it to wherever you like it. So we're just going to keep repeating this process. And in your purchase, you also got a folder that has, sorry, I'm trying to look it up here. You also got a folder that has the full page layout of each email. So that is because this is a really great opportunity to pull that up so that way you can see exactly how each email should look. So I'm going to just pull that up right now and pull it on screen so you can see. So this down here, it says end of email intentionally left blank because I don't want you to think that you're missing anything. So that's why I write, wrote that down there. Um, so here is number one. This is what it should look like. So now I'm looking for this piece. That makes it very easy just to come in here, find it, select it, and insert. Now you might think, oh my goodness, this is a lot of work. However, yes, it is right this second, but once you get this set up, it will run for itself. So you don't even have to worry about it after you get it set up. <clears throat> okay. I'm just finishing out, trying to match up these lines here as best as possible. And I actually added one too many. So there we go. So here it is as the image that you purchased, header, large body, homework and footer. So here we go. That's how it's going to look in their emails. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it so much. So we're going to, um, then you can title it. Ah. And then Let's say I know I'm corny. It's okay. Save. So now you're going to be able to see up right up here. This is how it's going to look once it hits their email. So then you're going to hit as long as everything looks good to you. Everything looks just how you like it. Going to hit continue.
And so here is how it looks. So you, this is how long it's going to wait to send the very first email once they say they want to be on this email list. So for example, if you had a post on Instagram or Facebook that said, we have a series of emails that can help you improve your email list, or excuse me, your credit for a homeownership. And then in return, they're going to put their name and email address in, then that's automatically going to get synced up with this. And so then do you want to wait four days to send this very first email? Probably not. I'm going to say you're going to want to send this very first one probably immediately. Because if once they sign up, they're right then thinking about it. So I always think it's the best to send the very first one immediately. So now we have the very first one done, yay. So we can go ahead and pull up number two. Here's what it looks like. So we're gonna get started on that one. So now we're just gonna hit add to series. And this series is built to be every seven days. So now this is not the day of the week, it is seven days from once they signed up. So if they signed up on a Tuesday at 11 a.m., the immediately that's, that's gonna get sent out, and then next Tuesday at 11 a.m., this is going to get sent out. So now we are just going to go to, uh, we can just do this real quick. Create email, layouts, blank. We've already uploaded all of our images in the last one that we made. So we don't need to upload anymore. So that's great. We're going to start just by dropping in our, our uh, picture placeholders. And then getting started on number two. And again, I do have this pulled up over here on the side. So it's easy for me to see and add. This is the longest one in the series. So it has an extra block, which is the one, the extra block is the one I just inserted. Sometimes if I get on a roll, I don't pull them all out right away. All right, so now we're going to start pulling them out. Okay, so when you have it where you like it, that's awesome. Okay, so um, let's say let me just see. Well, we're going to keep this pretty simple. All right. So now that you have your email set how you like it, don't forget to come up here and update the subject lines to whatever you would like it to be. Now we're going to go to continue. And here we are back here again. I would go in here and probably rename them here, rename this step. Uh, so that way you don't get confused when you're building these out. All right, so you're just going to name these um, as you go. So this is what you're going to do the whole time. You're just going to do this for every single one of the emails, which there are eight of them. 
All right, I just wanted to go and show what you wanna make sure of once you have all of the emails created. So you can see we came all the way down to step eight. We have our eight emails all updated. I did this off camera, so don't worry, it didn't just magically appear. I just added all of the emails. And so what we wanna make sure of is that it says send immediately and then in between every single one, it says wait seven days. So automatically it says four, but we are going to wait, oh, not 74, seven days. So each one of these needs to be edited. Update, update. All right, so now that it says seven days, then your email drip campaign is ready to go. And then all you do is you come up here to activate, and then it says your series, and then you just hit continue. And then there you go. It is all ready to go. Once you have it and people start adding in or coming in, you can see who is opening it, what they're clicking on, how many people are going from one to the next, how many people are making it all the way to the bottom. Um, so there's a lot of really good information. All the people that make it to email, I mean, if, if they're making it to email six, seven, or eight, these are really warm leads, and I would definitely be in contact with those people that are opening these later emails um, on a daily basis because they are super hot and they are um, really motivated to increase their credit. Um, so that is it for this uh, tutorial. I hope that answers any questions that you may have on creating an email drip campaign.